from an individual basis, it's clear there are winners and losers. And the interesting thing to me biologically is that the implication there is a sense that there's, it's a win to have a winner for the species too. Mm -hmm. And in this case, it means mating with more females and producing more offspring in, in a, for the period of time that you're king of the hill. Because surely some of the, the losers in these competitive environments are still reproducing. Yeah, and some mm -hmm. of them aren't, and a lot of them aren't. Mm -hmm. So how, you know, how does that factor in? I mean, the truth of the matter is, if you look across the, uh, the lifespan of, of any bird, um, you know, if you start from a set of eggs in a nest of a female sharp-tailed grouse, they're gonna have chicks that are potentially 50-50 in terms of the sex ratio and each one of those pools, males and females, only a small percentage is gonna to survive to adult. 